हेलो माई सेल्फ चैनल आई वेलकम यू ऑल लेट अस डिस्कस कॉन्सोलिडेशन टूडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न टर्जा इज वन डिमेंशनल कॉन्सोलिडेशन थियोरी एज वेल एज कॉन्सोलिडेशन टेस्ट सेटअप एंड स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ टाइम फिटिंग मेथड that a star or terzaghi has given a non dimensional factor which is tv that is called as time factor he has related coefficient of consolidation with time factor like this tv is equal to cv into t in by d square we understood d in just previous one minute t that is time period for whatever time period you want to find time factor that is t and see we is coefficient of consolidation here in addition to this taylor has given a relation between u and tv time factor u is degree of consolidation here now if degree of consolidation is less than 60 percentage then tv formula can be written as empirical formula can be written as pi by 4 into u by 100 square and if u is greater than 60 percentage we can write tv is equal to 1.7813 minus 0.933 log 10 base 100 minus u so this is how we can find out degree of consolidation as well as time factor let us move further consolidation test the consolidation test is conducted in a laboratory to study the compressibility of a soil now consolidation test is done with consolidometer or it is also called an audiometer now consolidometer is made up of two things that is loading frame and second is loading cell the cell will keep the soil and loading frame will apply loading for that the soil specimen of size 60 mm dia and 20 mm thickness is taken then the loading is given in incremental manner as we complete the loading cycle in the last load is not taken up to zero but it will be reduced to one fourth of the final load and then it is kept for 24 hours to swell after swelling and completion of that cycle the soil will be taken out and then some of the few things will be found out like coefficient of permeability coefficient of consolidation uh, coefficient of volume change etc let us understand two types of cell today which are as shown let us understand floating ring cell here soil specimen is kept in this middle area item 1 is showing soil specimen then it is kept in between porous stones as second is showing porous stones and there are three types of rings kept specimen ring guide ring and outer ring we can see rings here specimen ring guide ring which is guiding only and fifth one is outer ring furthermore water jackets are provided at item number 6 you can see that these are the walls or we can say water jackets they provide water and seven below that there is a base kept as well as pressure pad is kept here this is a pressure pad and at item number 9 this is a pressure ball here there is a ball kept from that ball the load is given so that the axial loading can be comprised of furthermore rubber gaskets bolts and drainage tubes are also provided in floating ring cells but it is floating ring cell due to these rings are floating floatable rings are there that is why it is floating ring cell let us move further and see the another type of cell that is fixed ring cell here you can see the figure of fixed ring cell due to no floating arrangement it is fixed ring cell here also the soil specimen is kept in between porous stones and here specimen ring guide rings are also provided like here 
as I am showing this. Specimen ring and guide rings are provided. Furthermore, it is having water jackets and base as same of item number 5. Furthermore, pressure pad item 6 is showing and item number 7 there is a pressure ball. Again, the ball will be providing axial loading to the soil specimen. Let us move further. The square root of time fitting method. The curve between dial gauge readings and time obtained from laboratory consolidation test and the theoretical curve between U and TV. U as degree of consolidation and TV as time factor is almost similar in shape. To use this similarity and to find out coefficient of consolidation, we are using the square root of time fitting method. This method is given by Taylor. In this method, let us understand this theoretical curve first and then we will go to laboratory curve. Here it is given the curve is between degree of compression U and under root TV. Here you can see the graph is staying linear up to 60 percentage. After that up to 90 percentage it is changing its shape. If I extend this linear graph up to here and give it a name A, the width A and actual graph width as B and compare them. So B by A is coming 1.15. In simple words it means if the graph is not linear it is 1.15 times than the linear value at 90 percentage. We should also remember that we have studied in Tazagi's theory that when U is lesser than 60 percentage TV will be pi by 4 into U by 100 square and when it is U is greater than 60 percentage then TV will be 1.7813 minus 0.933 log 10 base 100 minus U. This is our old equations. Let us move further. Yes, this is practical laboratory test curve. Dial gauge reading versus square root of time under root T readings. Here R0 is corresponding to initial reading as well as up to RC. After giving some more pressure, the graph will happen like this. Now between R0 to RC, the line between R0 to RC or reading between R0 to RC is known as immediate settlement or initial consolidation. Now after that from RC to line B is drawn. Now line B is 1.15 times line A. Now from graph from that experiment for particular experiment we can get this under root T90 value as 5.5 minutes up from point P. As the point P is showing 90 percentage degree of consolidation as dial gauge reading as well as in terms of under root T. Now as having these values we can calculate that under root T90 is 5.5 minutes then T90 is equal to 30.1 minutes as well as T90 can be called as 1806 seconds. From that we can Remember that CV is equal to TV90 into D square by T90. This is again older formula from Terzaghi's theory. Let us move forward. We want other values in this formula. We have T90 only. Now we need D as well as TV. Now for TV90 as time factor, we have to use formula for greater than 90 percentage of degree of consolidation as u is greater than 60 percentage as 90 percentage. So here I am putting u value as 90 and I am getting the answer as TV of 0.848. So I got my TV, I got T90, I need D value. Now D is average drain path to reach the water. Now D is equal to H by 2 or we can say H initial plus H final by 2. Now H initial and H final from experimental value we have to take HI as 16.20, HF as 15.10 mm. So initially 
the size of soil specimen was 16 mm and then it is reduced to 15.10 mm. Now putting these values in D, I am getting D answer as 0.783 centimeters. Now I have D value, T90 value and TV time factor 90 value. Now I can calculate CV from this equation putting all the values I can get the answer as 2.88 into 10 to minus 4 centimeter square per second. So this way I can find out coefficient of consolidation of any laboratory experiment from similarity of theoretical curve as well as laboratory curve. I hope you are clear with this method. Let us move forward. Consolidation settlement. Now you guys have to remember these most important two settlement formulas. These are SC settlement consolidation settlement is equal to MV into H into delta sigma dash. Now MV is coefficient of volume change, H is thickness and delta sigma dash that is effective pressure difference. Again SC is equal to CC that is compression index into H by 1 plus E0 into log 10 base sigma 0 dash plus delta sigma dash upon sigma 0 dash. Now sigma 0 dash that is initial effective pressure and effective pressure difference that is delta sigma dash. And H is thickness here and E0 is initial void ratio here. So I conclude my lecture here. Thank you.